everybody, it's Crazy Fango Shy. We hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today we are reacting to episode four of season two of House of the Dragon. Um, and whew, I'm very excited for this. Once again, we are joined by the lovely uh, voice of God, Tommy. Hello. <laughs> um, and yeah, to ha, to ha, the the the. Oh Jesus! Like today's been stressful because I've been I had to go to the doctors today. Just going sidetrack really quick. I went on Twitter. I probably shouldn't have done that. It was the worst thing I ever did because I forgot. I forgot that it was um House of the Dragon Day, and I went. I was like fuck, and I quickly shut it off. I was like never, no, no, not for the rest of the day. That's my little sidetrack for the day. But anyway, as usual, we're gonna jump straight into this episode. Very excited. Please remember to like, subscribe if you enjoy, and we uh blah blah blah. And yeah, let's get into it. Oh, hello, Damon. Targaryen. Okay. To one of the hundreds of Targaryens. I had to squint a little bit. Um... <laughs> oh shit! Oh, 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 oh. oh! Oh goodness! Jesus! Mario Grace. My, my, my prince, uh, my, my grace. Uh, this is Sir Oscar Tully, grandson to Grover Tully. He is heir to River Run and the future Lord Paramount of the Riverlands. Isn't that literally grace, just Rickon Stark? Yeah, it, literally, it does look like him a little bit. It is an honor your grace. Have a pillow over his head and speed along your inheritance. <laughs> oh, David. I, I love my grandsire like a father. House Tully is a fish with no head. Remind me oh. which of your Damn. countrymen claim to fight in the name of No place for sentimentality. No, 100%. This is like a place, no offense, it is a place for adults. And you are Alan. I'm given to understand my lord husband owes you his life. Your mother oh. must have been very beautiful. Renice. I'm so confused. <laughs> Stop thirsting. You're welcome. <laughs> no, no, no. You did not think to mention it. I did not think it relevant. I know who he is, Corlys. He saved his lord's life. He should be raised up and honored, not hidden beneath the tides. Tyron Jace for supper. You grow restless in Rhaenyra's absence. Still, where has that woman gone? I suspect to try and draw us all back from the abyss. She went on a complete suicide mission. Mm. Oh, 100%. Best scene of the episode, but the, it was a, a little odd that Alicent just let her walk away. Mm. As requested. Oh. I brewed it myself. Thank you. An abortion potion? Ooh, what is it? The moon thingy majiggy potion? She's so much more tolerable without Kristen Cole there. 100%. She seems like a totally different person. Yeah, she's pregnant with his baby! Be careful of shitting yourself, <laughs> Alison, and <laughs> giving it away. You should have burned them when you had the chance. Perhaps you can, Sir Alfred, when you next sight them on your dragon. <laughs> the only reason we know any of his efforts. Or Baylor. Do Baylor. We, know, my prince? we could perhaps act if only we had a host of our own or someone here to lead us. Mind your tongue, Sir Alfred. Yes, boss. It, it is her voice and that of the king consort that we need to raise alliances and command our vassals. But they are gone. What has come of this council? Oh. Yes. Is there not to be done in the absence of the queen but to grouse and claw for power? You can earn back your honor by raising his banner and fighting in his name against the whore of Dragonstone. All who Shut refuse... your face, Cole. My god. He loves to call her that. Lost all of his riz with that haircut. Now I know. I like now all. he looks like a preschool Is there no little honor boy. Left? You're not fit for the white cloak. Yeah. Of all people, has taken Harrenhal. I give you a job, and now you just sit there. It's your fucking castle! Oh. <laughs> Get castle back, Larys! Griston is marching on Rook's Rest. Rook's Rest? A pathetic prize. I gave no such command. The castle command. is small. Why do we have to nerf the greens by having Our Aemon not be in charge? <laughs> just say you got your period. Mm. Girl, why? If I may be so bold, my queen. Uh. Oh, no. Do you think that is why he changed his mind? In the end. No matter how. He should have suck off, Laris. Oh, no. The, uh, There's enough screen time for you. He's poking at her. 
the significance of Viserys' intentions tied with him. Why don't you just get her killed and mm. accept? It makes no sense yeah. in hindsight. I think that's the fault of Alison and Rhaenyra. They still have so much love for each other that they didn't have the courage to end the other person. Wait. Wearing his little nighty. Wait, what the fuck? Was that Aemon? Having nightmares again? It looked very Aemon deep. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm called Alice. Strong. Oh. Rivers. Mm. Iron Hall has been cursed since its first stone was laid. Uh. Yuck! Girl! <laughs> Sorry. So you've come here after quarreling with your wife. What? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Who are you? Sir William Blackwood of House Blackwood, your grace. <laughs> as I say. What a transition! That was a cool scene. <laughs> she had the true blood for the dragon. And you're prepared to march without the leave of your lord. Oh. Oh. Wow. Isn't that Lena? Yeah. Oh, shit. Damon be going shit crazy. That gorgeous woman. She's so pretty. Haha. <laughs> 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 Imagine having Damon looking at you like that. I know. It's like, um, hello. And they pursue their campaign without seeking my aid or even my thought. What thoughts would you have? <laughs> Damn! Allison! Calm down! Damn, she did. It was Jugular's just over there if you want to get for that too. I was going to say, she certainly changed her tone. In the hope that you might be half the king your father was. Oh, Tread carefully. oh, oh my oh. god. God, girl, what are you doing? You have no idea the sacrifices that were made to put you on that throne. But she's completely right. She is, though. That's the thing. But, like, the balls to tell him. What the do king, you have me do, for... mother? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. God. I don't like that I feel for him. But also, because... Oh, it's so fucking complicated. I love this show. Everyone's very complex. It's, it's fantastic. Oh, delicious. Ah, there she is. Bloody hell, took her long enough. Because so much of this season has been fire, I'm going to just pretend that that wasn't a terrible writing decision just yeah. to have her go in and get out unscathed. Uh, agree. What the war that your vassals have been fighting in your absence, your grace. Oh! Oh! Jace! I went to King's Landing. To what possible end? To meet Queen Alicent hmm. and sue for peace. Even if Alison agreed, what the hell is she going to do about it? I know. She's, she's got no power. She literally can't do anything. She's just the queen, the dowager queen. Queen Mother. He is daring us to act. We need to send a dragon. <laughs> Come at me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's so pretty. He's so be gorgeous. Undoing. Send me. <laughs> no. I will burn Cole's lines and withdraw before King's Landing could even you raise the, the alarm. Experience. You have the experience, Radira? You must Radira? send me, Your Grace. Oh, no. Maybe. Go, Granny Todd. I'm scared now. I know. I hope she makes it. Oh. Bro. Oh no! <gasps> She's pretty! Oh. I don't like where this is going. Yeah. This is leading me to believe that she's not going to make it back. Back on the conqueror's dream. I'm sorry, I cannot be made to care about this. I know, we've been told! We told 500 times! <laughs> not even that. I know it leads to the worst season of anything that yeah. ever happened ever. It doesn't even mean anything in the grand scheme of things. Of how terrible Game of Thrones ended. Oh, gorgeous dragon. Oh, oh my god. <gasps> oh, 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 no. Oh shit. Is that Vega? Oh mm, shit. Fuck. Jesus Christ, Vega. You're huge. Oh, Aegon, you're gonna fuck it up for everyone. Oh, God, mate. You are so dumb. This was your secret plot, Cole. For the king himself for the to lay king. out. Oh, no. Now Cole, th oh, they think it's him. He did oh, this. God. Oh, shit. Oh, what an idiot. <laughs> yeah, I know. Where's Granny Vega? Granny Vega versus Granny, Granny Tog. Versus Granny Vega. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. oh, get fucked! Get fucked! Oh my god! Oh my god! Immediately wrecked! He's 
these poor fuckers here were just enjoying oh. their day before. Oh. <laughs> oh my oh. fucking god! <laughs> I love how old they made her look. I know. I just love that she genuinely looks ancient. Yeah. And I would not fuck with her. And like, she doesn't look like a traditional dragon. Like, I love that as well. Like, I know she looks like a bloody turkey, but she looks so cool. Yeah. <laughs> she do got the lunch lady arms. <laughs> look at him, he's not even sitting on the fucking saddle. He's literally like standing up. Oh, Raiders. Yeah, oh. Well. <laughs> oh! Oh my god! Wow! Angus Elis. Oh, oh no! It sounds like she also doesn't think she's making it back. Oh, oh my god! Oh. <laughs> this is so good! Oh! Oh my god! Oh! Oh my god! Oh, oh my, my god! god. That. Oh, that's stunning! Dance of the dragons indeed! Oh! Uh -huh. Is he dead? <laughs> oh! That's a foot! <laughs> Jesus! Oh my god! Look at the size of her! Oh. I love her grandma titty. Oh! Oh, I didn't see the grandma titty. <laughs> That's just more of the neck, <laughs> not the chest. <laughs> oh, Melis. You okay, darling? Oh, oh, Granny. Get out of there. Go home and long rest. <laughs> yeah. Everyone there on the ground must know that they're just NPCs. Literally. This is the fight. This is the main battle. Oh, oh. This. Yep, there we go. Jeez, on! Oh, oh my god. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. I'm not crying. Mm hmm. Oh my god. Oh. Now you're done good, you two. I have to admit, Sir Kristen, you get results. He does, dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a skeleton in there. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> My God! What a shot, dude! That was fucking brilliant. Oh my god. He's dead, please be dead. Oh my god, just be dead. Although I kind of worry that if he is dead, then the, the greens just win. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> oh. The incompetence of the people in front are what... Oh, oh, okay. Oh my god, what a shot to end it on! Oh, ah. oh, I didn't even write notes for the last, like, 20 minutes of that episode, whatever it was. Jesus Christ. That was... That was... That was something. <laughs> now, I won't lie, I knew that was gonna happen. So, Tommy, how are you feeling? Are you okay? A little sad about Granny Tog. You know very well how much I adored her. I know you do. She was a fantastic character. Mm. But, uh, well, it's probably best that she... we lost her instead of Rhaenyra or Luceris. Oh, do you mean... yeah, oh, I thought you said Luceris. I was like, Luceris is already dead. <laughs> oh, the other one. Jaceris. Jaceris. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, they all have like, the same name. <laughs> no, it's okay. That's what I was like, tell me he died at last season, but alright. <laughs> no, it's okay. Ah, oh, what? Let's talk about the dragon fights. So, you know, we all knew that this was going to be all about... Literally, House of the Dragon, Dance of the Dragons, it's going to be about the dragons. And fuck, they delivered. <laughs> that was, a, that yes. was brilliant. I love, some, I love me some dragon fights. Very exciting. The shots were fantastic. Yeah, the cinematography in this one. the show was in the... 
Yeah. Fucking amazing. Even when Game of Thrones was in the toilet, the cinematography was still always 100%. Agreed. I love... There's so many shots from this episode alone that just really stood out. I mean, we could talk about the whole thing with Rhaenyra, because even I was going to talk about what you were saying. Like, I, I feel like, in a way... Uh, I feel like it would have been good to see her try to leave King's Landing um, with a little bit of tensity, like, you know, because everyone was like, where the fuck is she? But then we never saw her until she got home. It would have been nice to be like, oh yeah, she's making her way back, but, you know, there's some tense she just, tense you know, moments. She just teleported to King's Landing and teleported home. Fast travel. I guess. <laughs> yeah, she kind of did. I don't I... know. I remember, it wasn't even just her. Eamon, no, Damon. Sorry, they do the names again. Yeah. Damon also just walks into King's Landing, um, pretending not to be a- Damon, and walks out again. Mm-hmm. And then so does Rhaenyra. I'm wondering exactly who the hell is um, bothering to keep the city secure because anyone can walk in. And- no, I agree. I think there are moments like that where it's quite sloppy writing, especially like, for example, like Blood and Cheese, like where the fuck were the guards? Like that still never was explained. Oh, yeah. <laughs> to this day, you know, there was that quarrel, which I love between the twin, what's his name? Eric or Eric, whatever his name is, that whole thing. I loved that talk, but then it was like, there's nothing to back it up because of the fact that there was no other guards on duty. It doesn't make fucking sense. But anyway, um, and then, yeah, there's moments like this, for example, with Rhaenyra coming out of King's Landing, like, fine. I feel like we should have started the episode off maybe with a little bit of tensity being like, oh, she's fucking trying to get out. But yeah, I think that was like, a pu- I don't know. I feel like that could have been done a little bit better. I do like, yeah, sort of bouncing off that idea. I like that Jaceris was pissed at Rhaenyra. It reminded me, like I said earlier, it reminded me a lot of, like, young Rhaenyra from season one. Um, and him just having that that passion to, go, like, you know, stand up for his mum and be like, I want to, you know, defend you. I want to, you know, you're, like, we can't have you on the front line, but I'll be on the front line to support you. Yeah. And your And your name. And also just putting her in her place and be like, what the fuck were you doing going to King's Landing? Like, you're so... Like, we need you alive. Like, what are you doing? I did love when she came home and her son was like, where have you been? <laughs> Bed's empty. No note. Car gone. <laughs> dragon gone. <laughs> <laughs> yes, dragon gone. Let's bounce off to Damon because, I don't know, I'm really liking what we're getting with him. And uh, what's her name? Alice Rivers? She fucking creeps me out. She's gross. Um, oh, she's sucking the yucky off her fingers. <laughs> oh. Yuck, that was gross. And um, yeah, I don't know. Like, it seems like, I don't know. I don't know what, I can't remember if this is like just him having dreams because of like Harren Hall being haunted or whatever, or if it's like, witchcraft but like it almost seems like madness because like you see him like dreaming of young Rhaenyra cutting her head off and she's still talking and then you see um what's it Lena and then <laughs> it's the the just this other maid who's like what the fuck why are you staring at me bruh yeah, um, <laughs> getting the weird look yeah and then him uh. like oh and that transition even though it was so fucking random just like the zoom in on him drinking the drink and then him being like wait what the fuck just happened like what like what happened in the span of like all that time yeah i'm excited to see what happens with him and like if his madness like ma- i say madness but if these nightmares keep pursuing and like what that sort of entails for his story and like how that affects him representing rhaenyra like is he going to be more of like i'm taking the claim or whatever you know as we've seen him to say that before you kind of see where a lot of characters are going at least if they're going east or not, but I have no idea what the hell Damon's doing. Yeah, like, I feel like... It's just exciting. I think with him, I like that it's a bit of, like, we don't know what's going on because it sort of reminds me of, like, season one. He's very much, like, the rogue... Like, his name says, the rogue prince. He basically does whatever the fuck he wants. So, like, you know, him not being in contact, him trying to build this army still and going crazy. I don't know. I like... Well, yeah, the whole thing with Alicent and (laughs) Aegon. Fucking hell. After speaking to Rhaenyra, she ain't holding anything back. She's like, bruh, like, this is the po- the boy I put on the throne. I'm just going to tell it straight. You, oh. you have no skill being on the throne. I did love the line, you have no idea the sacrifices that were made to put you on the, fl- on the throne. Yeah. 
It's crazy. Oh, he's so petulant. Oh, God, he's a grot. Ah, oh, a he grot. is. He's gross, a douchebag. But, oh, the acting. Because in that moment, I was like, for fleeting seconds, I was like, I feel bad for you, bro. But also, fuck yeah. you. <laughs> I was like, this is. Because no one takes him seriously. Yeah. No one needs him. He doesn't need. Yeah. And he's trying to prove himself. And it's like, bro, I don't want you to be king. I don't believe in you as a king. I don't give two shits about you. But also. I sort of feel bad for you. So I love that we're getting this, like, again, we were saying, like, it's so, like, so, like, it's, I don't know. It's complicated. Oh. It's complicated and it's in the best way possible. It's so good. Did we notice that Eamon deliberately attacked him? Yes! Oh, my God, I was going to talk about that as too. Because, fucking hell, from, I think, obviously, from the, the start of the episode, there was that vibe of Eamon being, like, I definitely think it was a catalyst from what happened last episode, like, with, him being made fun of he probably was like yeah fuck this shit time to make some make some plans so i love from the at, like the start of the episode Eamon was like the, like literally showing uh like aegon how to be a ruler or like how to strategize saying like oh like just flawlessly going up to the wall being like yes 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 even though this is a small thing it's a small win and it'll get us further into the war than what Rhaenyra is planning and then the whole plan with Vega hiding in plain sight and then the whole attack oh my god it was just so good that was fantastic that was just Great episode oh dude the cinematography in that shot of Vega through the trees and you just see her body move and it's like oh fuck the big granny's here oh no it was oh, so good and Alicent just having her little abortion discreetly <laughs> <laughs> While Laris just continues to do very little, but just be weirdly antagonistic and creepy. Just going to say before talking about that, love how you started off with that, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> um, <So> an anyway. <laughs> um, agree. Laris, La <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, <laughs> um, talking about Laris being an absolute dick oh god i can't stand the side of him the actor brilliant the character shit um and just uh. oh god every time i see him i'm like huh. and then him like poking at her and being like oh you don't seem like yourself your grace and all this shit it's like bro go away <laughs> uh let's talk about fucking Kristen cole uh as much as i hate him he actually is quite like we were saying, he's quite good at strategy, and he's making the wins small as they are. They'll be good for the bigger picture for the Greens. Yeah, he's actually an asset, um, mm. and I never wanted to say that <laughs> because he's a complete flog. But um, you know, socially aside, he's proving his cleverness and valor and strategic prowess. Yeah. That um, plan with because we saw him and Aemond planning a couple of episodes ago. Yeah, I think that was in episode one. Plotting together. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm curious to see what happens <clears throat> if uh, Aegon even made it. I know. Don't even know. Yeah, it'll be very interesting to see. Like, I love that last scene of, like, you know, the dragon's body and then just in the small cradle of Earth, it's just Aegon and he's just... a. Uh, uh, we don't know, alive or dead. Like, that, oh, the imagery in the show was so good. And even the imagery of Eamon going up to him with the sword, it was like, oh, shit, is he going to do it? But no, he didn't do it. He was well, like, too It's an too ongoing easy. thing. I think mm. even the first time we saw um, Eamon uh, was when Aegon was bitching about marrying Helena, and then Eamon said, well, I would do it if I had to. Yeah. <laughs> That always interested so me, constant, if Eamon, in, um, Eamon and um, Helena, especially in season one. We haven't seen too much of them together in this season. But in season one, I was like, is something going on between them? That would be really cool, but I don't know. I don't think it, it will, but I don't know. It's always been hinted at. I never saw Helena this episode, which was a huge loss. No, huge it's loss. always a loss to not have our, uh, our lovely princess in there. <laughs> or queen, sorry, not princess. My bad. Oh, yeah, she is the queen, I guess. I forgot. What happens if Aegon's dead? I Ooh. guess she might marry Aemon after all. Maybe <laughs> that would be that would be interesting. Would be interesting. Imagine being Alicent and all your kids are just marrying each other repeatedly. I know. I feel like 
like that's something I always think about because Allison comes from a place where she's not obviously blood, so I'm wondering what goes on in her head, having to be like, "Oh yes, my son will marry my daughter," and then if that son dies, you're gonna marry my other son, my youngest son. It's like, bruh, that's so oh, uh, so weird. <laughs> she's gonna end up like the Marjorie Terrell, but incest. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sorry. One more thing, um, which was really interesting. It was very random, but I feel like it's going to come up more now that Rhaenys is gone. But when Rhaenys was talking about Alan, so do you think that's Coralis's son? I believe so. Yeah. Um, kind of the spitting image. Literally. I, and, lo uh, and um... I love how immediately you were like, thirsting! <laughs> 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 Well, yeah, no, it was it was very sweet the way she said, "Oh, your mother must have been a hot bitch." Literally, <laughs> um, and then doing the opposite of that um, annoying tart, Catelyn Stark, and saying, "Why are you keeping this one hidden?" Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, it was a no actually, it was a very interesting moment because yeah, we've never seen it like that in a way, like where the wife is like, "Oh, well, actually, you should like be, you know, that's that is your son, so you know." You know, raise him to higher stations. Mm. That was interesting. So I was yeah. like, that was cool. I like that. So I'm wondering if he'll do that in future. We shall see. Maybe he'll become Lord of the Tides. Who knows? Maybe the, what, that was mentioned last episode. So I just I'm... like, Ugh. the <laughs> options you got suck, call us. <laughs> <laughs> so this is probably the best one. This is the closest thing you're going to get, mate. Just take it. <laughs> this is it. Speaking of um, bastards, mm. how about that? bloke who was apparently the one of Balon's baby. Oh, yeah, and, um, wait. Except he's not here anymore. Where is he? Uh, Ulf. Ulf. Yeah, not here either. So I guess we'll follow up on that another time. I feel like, yeah, we'll probably hear about Unless him. Because we Game of Thrones and just cut that plot thread suddenly. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. I feel like, I like that there are these tiny, tiny subplots. I just hope that they pursue them again. That, All like, right. That last bit where Cole touches the soldier and it's just the skeleton, fucking hell. Oh, what an image. I said that as like a, as like a joke and then it happened. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, fuck. Oh my God. That was beautiful. Oh God. There's a lot to reminisce on for this episode, but yeah. Thank you for joining us again, Tommy. Is there anything you want to finish us off with? No, I think I've had enough talking. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Thank you. Uh, again, everybody, thank you so much for watching this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment as usual, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Here's your finger out.